The New York Liberty picked up their 15th win of the season with a 96 to 87 victory over the Mystics, and they still have the best record in the Eastern Conference. So let's talk some Liberty hoops with the team's beat writer for Winsider. That would be Miles Ehrlich joining me now. Miles, you went to Vegas. I saw you were busy out there. How's everything going? Everything's good, Dex. It's great to talk to you. I'm happy to be back. It was very hot out there. That, yeah, the, the heat in Vegas, well, through a lot of places in the country, it's been pretty hot. But, you know, it's always a hot topic. WNBA basketball. We're going to talk about the Liberty. And during Friday night's game, Brianna Stewart, John Quill Jones, Sabrina Inescu, they had quite the night. Jones grabbing 11 boards while Brianna Stewart and Inescu managed to record double doubles against the Mystics. So how do you think the Liberty should continue to utilize what appears to be a very dominant trio? I think that Friday night's game was a pretty perfect blueprint offensively of how these three can coexist and still all eat. Uh, Sab finished an assist short of a triple-double. JJ was a dominant force from the opening tip inside all night. She had a season-high five offensive rebounds and 27 points. And Stewie showcased her versatility in the open floor. She was just punishing the Mystics whenever the Liberty pushed the pace. So I think it's this kind of dynamic flexibility that makes New York so dangerous when their three stars are clicking like that. Um, they were all able to eat, like I said, and having all five starters hit double-digit uh, double scoring, it just makes them a nightmare to defend, even for the Mystics, who are one of the league's best. Yeah, no doubt about that. And after last night's game, head coach Sandy Brundello said that Jones, John Cole Jones it is, has been overthinking a little bit. So talk to me about how you think she's been able to work through mental blocks this season and give a stellar performance like we saw from her on the court on Friday. It's been somewhat of a linear um approach for for John Quell, who in the offseason had a foot injury that she was recovering from, and then it was going up, 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 and it kind of peaked in mid to late June. It seemed like JJ had seemingly turned a corner on the glass. She averaged a double-double across four straight, but then that West Coast trip came, which started with that Vegas loss, and she fell off a little bit. John Quell averaged just four boards per game across the next four-game stretch, but now again, she's on the ups nine a night in the previous three and she's and she's grabbing more than three per game on the offensive glass so yes i believe confidence is a part of it and whether that's internal or external um but it's also consistent entry passing too often i feel like new york has gone to jj in the early going and then she's kind of disappeared or worse early foul trouble has stopped her from ever getting into rhythm so i think that was the difference last night she set the tone early, and it wasn't even the ball coming to her. She was hitting the offensive glass, getting to all the right spots when the movement was still stagnant, and then stretching out for uh, to get the team flowing a bit. But then from there, what I love to see is they just continued going to her. Yeah, they definitely kept feeding her in the post, and she took advantage of those opportunities when they were there for her to score. So hopefully we see that continue for her along with the rebounding numbers. Now, we always got to look ahead, Miles. Up next, the Liberty, they have the Indiana Fever what are some of the team's strengths that they must implement and we've seen in the last couple of games for them to take another win over the Fever? So the Liberty faced the Fever a couple of weeks back, needing to win that game to secure a spot in the Commissioner's Cup uh, matchup against the, the Aces. And as you remember, I'm sure, they nearly squandered a 20-point lead, but were able to pull out the win in overtime. So in their first two matchups, New York has relied on two huge efforts from Stars. Stewie, in her home debut, dropped a career-high and franchise-best 45 points in the first go-around, and then Sabrina Ionescu knocked down seven threes on her way to 34 points in the more recent meeting. So there's that, right? There's the star power that I think New York can bring any given night. But defensively, what New York needs to do is keep the fever off the offensive glass. The teams that have a, a combination of size, athleticism, and perseverance, those are the teams that New York seems to struggle with the most and get, and get, have the most trouble with. So yes, Nalissa Smith is still sidelined, but what that means is that New York can more put more focus, I think, onto Aaliyah Boston. And if you win that rebound battle, like you did last night, they were 48-28 yesterday, I, I think that that's a way that they could then move forward and take care of business against the Fever. Yeah, we will see if they can take care of business against the Fever. That game coming up on Sunday. And so Liberty will look to get their 16th win of the season. That is Miles Ehrlich. He is the beat writer covering the Liberty for Winsider. Miles, always good to talk to you. You got to get some rest coming back from Vegas. And uh, we'll talk again soon down the road. Thank you, Dexter. Have a good one.